Hello, this is Andrew, and I just want to say Merry Christmas to all of you. I want to thank you so much for everything you do to help us get the Word of God out. That's the most important thing that we could ever do. That beats any job, any other vocation you could have. And I just appreciate you more than I could ever communicate. So Jamie and I wanted to say Merry Christmas to you. We're believing the best for you for a great new year sharing the gospel. And we praise God for you. I believe that your rewards are out of this world. God is going to bless you big time. God bless you. Glory to the newborn King, Christ Jesus is born. Andrew Womack Ministries and Caris Bible College, Uganda, wishes you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. May this season bring you joy and happiness. In Jesus' name, you are blessed. Welcome to Gospel Truth with Andrew Womack, a teaching ministry that focuses on God's unconditional love and grace. And now, here's Andrew. There was an unusual star, but it was only for people who were astrologers. They noticed the difference. These people were looking for it. In other words, it was the prophecy of Daniel that actually provided the motivation. And the star just... Uh, happened to be an indication that that time had come and it led them from the east. And somehow or another, it uh, was obvious enough to people who were looking that uh, they followed it. But this was all the influence of Daniel that did this. And remember this, that they had 490 years approximately. Somewhere around there to prepare for this from the time that the prophecy was given to Daniel. And they had been looking for this for generations. And so I believe that when it says that they brought the gold, the frankincense, and the myrrh, and laid them at the feet of Jesus and Mary and Joseph. It wasn't a small gift. Matter of fact, there's a man from uh, Australia, Peter Daniels. He's a motivational speaker. And I heard him say one time that he commissioned some people to go study and find out how much this gift of gold, frankincense, and myrrh was worth and and there's a lot of subjective things in here because I don't know that it gave specific amounts and things like this but anyway this commission that he uh, this group that he commissioned to study that said that it was an absolute fortune. And I believe that this is consistent, that God the Father did not send his son to the earth and give him to Mary and Joseph to raise and expect uh, them to raise his son on their expenses. 
omwana we ku sente zawe bo in other words god paid the way god gave them a ransom mu bufunze nti katonda yake nyini yabasoka naba waka simo and these people that came from persia abantu bana bave bu perusi they had 490 years to store up and i believe that jesus abali ne miyaka bina muchenda okubanti bakunganyo bugagga buno bonna era sikiriza anti yesu had plenty of money to accomplish anything that he wanted to do yalina sente ezimala okubanti amaliriza buli kimucho nnachi alina okukola now the scripture does say that jesus became poor ebya wandikwa bigama anti yesu yayavuwazibwa 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 Abakolinse ekyo kubiri munana olwomwenda Jesus became poor so that we through his poverty might be made rich Nti Yesu yayavuwazibwa fo kuyita mu bwavu bwe tugagawizibwe But I believe that has to be talking about relative uh, poverty uh, from heaven Nzikiriza nti kyali kyogera ku bwavu wobo bugeregere nyiza nnoguru When you were sitting on the throne and have the universe at your feet Nti wobo tudde ku namulondo nga olina ensiyo na wansi kubigerebyo and everything belongs to you nga buli kintu kyonna kicho to come from that to be limited to a physical body okuva mwecho no jja no yamba lo mubiri and to live i believe that it was a relative poverty no bera wo kunsi kuno wotyo nkakasiza dalanti kati buno bwe bwavu boyinzo okogera ko bunji Jesus did have money because he had a treasurer that walked around and this treasurer Yesu yaina sente kubanga okirabira ku kubanti yaina no mute kwasi wensa wo eyagenda anga na ibuli wa yalaganga uh, on the night of his uh, betrayal ngero lunaku gwe ba muliamu olukwe Judas went out and the rest of the disciples supposed that he was going out to give money to the poor. Yuda Iscariot yagenda nabavamu era bayizigirizwa balala balowoza nti agenze kukukuwa sente abali abavu. At midnight. Ne zali sawa matumbi gachiro. You know that's really unusual. It must have been that he had done this before. Echo no munange techisainga sainga kitegeza nti echintu kino yali ayinzo kubanga yakikola kodda. He was accustomed to giving out money Jesus. Yuda Iscariot no mukumi wensa wo ya Yesu yali nga kimanyi do kugenda nga na wa balala sente. Was giving money to people. He had a treasurer that handled all of his money. Kitegeza nti Yesu yawanga abantu abalala sente kubanga yalina no muwani kawe yaberanga na ye. It talks about women that traveled with him and ministered unto him of their substance. Era ebyawandikwa byogera ne kubachala abatambulanga wa mune Yesu nti bamuwerezanga ne byabwe. So again, this idea of Jesus being dirt poor when it says that he had, you know, foxes have holes, the birds of the air have nests. No reche ne njogera nti Yesu yali mwavu nnyonga bagama nti bibili no bunya ne nnyonyizo omubanga zili ne bisu. But the son of man hath not where to lay his head. Nti nayo mwana wo mutaina wa samu twegwe. That's not talking about that he was absolutely broke. Kino de chogera nti no Yesu yali mwavu nnyo. And he was going around begging for money. It's when it says all that. Ntikati yali agenda wonanga asabiriza senti. Nebo ayogera ebyo byonna. It was just that he chose not to have a house. Echo chikulaga nti yasalawo yo butabana nyumba. He chose not to have a permanent dwelling. He was an itinerant preacher. Yaluberera nti no ajizimbye kubanga yali mubulizi yali agenda wonna. And he would walk down the road and sleep on the side of the road. Nolecho kati yagenda anga wonna ku makubo nga abulira anga asobola kusula ku mabali ge kubo. He didn't have any permanent dwelling because that's what he chose to do. Yali taina nyumba ya lubereda ndi yino kubanga icho yali asala okola. That was the leading of his father but he was not dirt poor. Oko kwali kulungamizwa kwa kitawe na yesi kugama nti no yali mwavu nyo bwatyo. These wise men from the east brought an entire fortune. Bana basajja abagezigezi abava ebuvanjuba bali to bugagga bunji nyodala. And him and laid at his feet. Jali era ne babiteeka kubigerebye. And here's some other things that are traditions about all of this. They Ira kati we buno bulombolombo bulala obogerwako. The tradition is that the wise man came to Bethlehem. Obulombo nombo buli nti abasajja bana bagizigezi bajje beserekem and laid the uh, gold frankincense and myrrh at his feet when he was in the stable. Nebateka zabu nobulonsa na bino byonna ebyomuwendo kubigerebye. 
boyali mu kiraro I don't believe at all ebyo nabyo nasibikiriza that that's what the scripture happened for one thing let me just read some of this unto you nti bino byo nebi awandikwa che byogera ne katikambe ko wano chemba nkusomera you know when the wise man came this is only recorded in Matthew's account omanyi okujja kwa basaja bana abagezigezi cha wandikwa mu mata yo muka that's one of the things you get by reading this parallel account ejo chokka che chintu chofuna yo ngo somye mu byawandikwa wano and in uh, Matthew chapter 2 verse 1 Matayo biri olusoka It says now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea in the days of Herod the king behold there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem Luka manti awo Yesu we yazalibwa mu Bethlehem mu echebu Judaya ku mirembe ya Herodde kabaka laba basajja bagezigezi abave buvanjuba ne bajja e Yerusalemi kati wano Now again this is the only account of this in scripture Kino chokka wano wosobola okukisanga mu byawandikwa byonna. And there was no mention of them being uh, three. Yatu sobola kukira ba wano nti babogera ko nti bali basatu. And there was no mention of them being kings. It says that they were wise men. Ate tatu ina wo kisomanti no bali bakabaka. Echandikwa kigambi nti bali basajja bagezigezi. And they said in verse 2, Where is he that is born king of the Jews for we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him? Matayo bili bili waga mantine babu uzanti kabaka wabu yudaya azali dua alirudawa. Kubanga tuwala be mwenye nye ye mubuvanjuba netuja tumusinze. And when Herod heard of these things, he was troubled in all Jerusalem with him. Ntike herude kabaka boya ulira ne yera likirira era nabe yurusale mibo na. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him in Bethlehem of Judea for thus it is written by the prophet and now Bethlehem in the land of Judea art not the least among the princes of Judah for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel Na kunganya bakabona abakuru bonna na bawandisi ba bantu na babuza Kristu je yali agendo kuzalibwa nabone bamugamba anti mu Bethlehem echebu Yuda ya kubanga bwacha wandikibwa nabbi bwachi tionti nawe Bethlehem mu nsi ya Yuda toli mutono mu balangira ba Yuda kubanga afuga aliva mugwe alirunda abantu bange Israeli and so anyway just for time sake let me go through and just say that Herod kale ku robudde kanchite mbuyisi ntikerode uh tried to trick them and say well you go find him and then report back to me yagezako okubanga ababuza abuzanga bagamanti mugende mu munonye we mulaba mujejendi so that i can come worship him also nange sobolo kujjo musinza but look down here in verse 10 it says after they left here it says when they saw the star nenja gaula bya no re 10 agamanti bwe bali nga kati bavudde yeyo bwe bala be munyenye they rejoiced with exceeding great joy and when they were come into the house they saw the young child and Mary his mother and fell down and worshiped him ntine basanyuka ne sanyu erinje nnyo nnyini ne bayingira mu nyumba ne balaba omwana ngali ne Maria mu nyina ne bavunnama ne basinza omwana and um, when they had opened their treasures they presented unto him gifts gold and frankincense and myrrh Nti ne basumulule ensawo zaabwe ne bamutonera ebirabo ebya zaabo no bubani no mugavu Look in the 11th verse and it says when they were come into the house Ne atenja galo labe mulo 10 mu agamanti bwe bayingira mu nyumba You know as we will go through some of these other scriptures we know that Jesus was born in a stable Ne atora ba uwo bawe yongedde mu byawandikibwa ojja kulabanti byogeranti Yesu yazaliba mu kiraro because there was no room for them in the inn. Ntikubanga bali tebayina kisenge kyo na mu bisulo. And so the wise men didn't come into the stable. This is when they were in a house. Nolocho kati abasajja bana abagezi tebajja mu kiraro wabula wano walaga anti bajja mu nyumba. And I'm running short of time today so I'll, let me just summarize some things and we'll get into more detail as we Ngate kati wano lero budde bumpe deko na kampite itembwangu continue this tomorrow Tujja kubanga kino tuchongereza ko na kulwancha But actually what I believe happened is it says that on the 8th day 
Neche zikiri za wano echa echogiru wako nti kuruna kuruo munana. According to the law, Jesus was circumcised. Okusinzi la kuteka Yesu ya komolibwa. And then Joseph and Mary offered the gifts that they had to offer. Kati yokana ne Mariamu ne bawayo ebirabo ebyali no kuwe bwayo. For the birth of a male child, I forget the exact time we'll get into that more in detail. Oluokuzaliwa ku mwana owo bulenzi sijukira wabyali bina kuenkana kitu jja kubanga tuchirabe echo tujja genda buziba mucho. But it says that immediately after that they went into Nazareth. Na yebya ondi ko biga manti oluva nyuma lwecho amangu ago bagene Nazaresi. And then they fled from Nazareth unto Egypt. Kati ne bava ate Nazaresi ne baduka ne bagende Misiri. And stayed in Egypt until Herod had died and then they came back. Nti ne babere Misiri yo kumara akasera okutusa ero kero de reyafa ne bali okaba ko mawo. To Nazareth. I believe actually that the wise man visited in Nazareth, in Zikiriza Daranti, Abasajaban Abagizigizi, Bacharida, Jesus, possibly after he was a year or two years old, Yesu, Nga Nkangament in Dozanga, you say, Amazono Kukuranga, Mwamaka Gumova Miake, Bidi. And it was in Nazareth, is where they found him, not in Bethlehem. Ntikatiari Amazono Kuda, in Nazareth, Jeba Musanga, and Abasaja Bagazigiz, so she bested him. And that this is the reason that Herod killed all of the children from the age of two years old and under. Era yen songa luachi kero de yalina no kutabana avali kumiaka ebidi no kukawansi. Is because that was the time it says that he did this based on the time that he had diligently inquired of the wise man. Kubange chokutabana ya chukola nga achigeregere nya na chisera chechimu cheya no nyereza okuva ku basajja bana bagezigezi and so the wise man had been looking nurecho kati abasajja bana bagezigezi bali banonya for Jesus for a period of time and based on the information Jesus could have been up to Yesu okumala akasera nga katonotura banti Yesu oboli awo chandi baddenga akasera kali kali nti maybe between 1 and 2 years old and so Herod killed all of the children below 2 years old bamunonyeza omwaka gumu mu bamu myaka ebiri nga chechisera chechimu kero de rwachi ya tabana abali bali wakati we myaka ebiri no kukawansi so this did not happen in the manger, this did not happen in Bethlehem. I believe it happened in Nazareth. And immediately after that, right after they presented their gift, is when the Lord told uh, Joseph to flee into Egypt. Bwacho katonda bwa yagamba Yusufu aduke agene emisiri. And yet we can find from the other accounts that after they left, nenga de tusobola okulaba mbya wandikwe bilala nti nga bamaze okugenda. The manger in Bethlehem they went to Jerusalem. Nti bava mu kirale Bethlehem ne bagenda Yerusalem. And they presented Jesus and they had him circumcised. Ne bawayo Yesu era ne bamukomola no mukobola. They offered these gifts, they had the prophecy of Simeon and Anna. Ne bawayo ebirabo binone bafuna obunna bibwa Simoni ne Anna. And all of these things took place and katinga bine bintu byonna byatukawo so they didn't leave immediately after the wise man based on the traditional story era mangu ago tebagendera woddala oluvanyuma but if you put it all in its order i believe that the wise man probably appeared in the house in nazareth ntebagendera wo mangu ago oluvanyuma lwabasajja bagezigezi bano ngera we chogebwa mu ngero zonezo ogerwa up to one between one and two years after the birth of Jesus. Was Masekati Gomwa Kagumu Oba Miaka Ebidi Uruvanyuma Roku Zaliwa Okwa Yesu. And somebody might say, Well, why is all of that important? It's not something that's earth shaking, it's not one of those heaven and hell issues, but it does illustrate Omuto Mainzo Gamba Katiobi na Makuruchi. So get a sigamantin no chinochidu masekatiga gurune geena. Na ye chenku gaman to wola bin rambu kufurwebi in tubino. How we have just accepted Traditions 
around the Christmas time, and I believe that the traditions and doctrines of men. Obulombo lombo, obu obu kuzi seba no obu ogeru amu visera biya sekukuru tura banti. Obulombo lombo ne nono zabantu. Make the word of God of none effect, just like Jesus said. Chire te dokubange chigambo chakato ante chiri na makuru iranga yeswe yogira. And you know what? We ought to go back to following things the way that it's written in the Word of God. Ngachitu gwani roku dayo oku genda tugoberele ichigambo cha katonda anga wicha wandi ikibwa. And make the Word of God more important than the songs that we've sung and the stories that we've been raised with. Tuletele ichigambo cha katonda oku wanga che chikuru oku singe njimba ze tuyimba kuseku kuru. Ne, no, ne zino zona zone ngeru ze batu gamba. And if we would go back to the Bible. Ngawe tu dayo mbaibuli and receive our inspiration directly from scripture i guarantee you there are some powerful powerful things netufuna okulunga miziwa okuva mu byawandiki kwanzikiriza anti mulimu ebintu ebyamanyi ebyamanyi ebikuru dalala to learn from this teaching okuyiga mu somolino about the appearance of jesus and about him coming to this earth kuchokula bikira kwa yesu ku nsikuno so we're going to begin to start talking about this. And again, let me just say, I'm going to be countering some of your uh, Christmas traditions. Norecho katimazoku simbo musinji na ye ngena kubanga ntandi kila wano kuogira kubintu binji na ye nga kusubi zanti ngena kuba nti ninya era njogira kubyo byo na byo baba deba kujigiriza kubia sekukuru. Uh, based on the word of God, but praise God, the word ought to dominate us. No bulombo lombo na yenga nkweze chigambo cha katonda. Kupa chigambo cha katonda chino kubanga chichukuru ilanga chichifuga mufe. And I believe that when you get to where you see things from the word of God, inanzi kilizanti wotuka kudara nga blichimucho no chilabo kuita mchigambo cha katonda. It's always better than the way that people change it. Bulichimucho na chigena kubachi usukuru munyo kusinga engeli abantu jibabi chusa chusa amu. I don't know why there is a desire among people to depart from the scripture. Simanyoba lwachi waluwo kuyayana okunje abantu okubanga bava kubyawandikibwa. You know when I saw the movie the uh, 10 commandments. Omanyinze bwe nalaba sinema eno eya mateke 10. Again I like that. I've got that on video and I watch it and Najagala irangirira ne katambi njiraba. And I am not against it but there are things in there that are absolutely wrong. Siji wakanya na ye inga ate mukatambi yako mundaba mwe bintu nga mbutufu bichamu dala. And incorrect from scripture. Nga bichamu okufambia wandikiwa. And the scripture account is much much better. Na ate nga mubia wandikiwa cho chukujulambu lulalaburu unji. I don't know why it is that people think that somehow or another they can improve upon it. Sima joba luhacha bantu wa ine ndooze ni ndooze antipa sovolo kucheo okuchonge na kubo kuchigazi ya mungiri ya mwobe indala. I guess it's possible that they just decided that they really were ignorant. And didn't understand what the scripture was saying. I guess that's a possibility is the reason some of these traditions came. But to me it looks like sometimes they just change it because they thought it would be better this way. I would rather stick with what the word of God has to say. Nzenge wachiri nsala wo okusigala nechi ekigambo cha katonda chi kigamba and receive the inspiration from it. So we're going to be going through no kufuna okulungamizibwa mu kuyita mu kigambo cha katonda. Nolo chetugena kwe yongera yo mu kino. This Christmas story and we're going to be taking lessons to be learned from it. Mu ngero zino eza sekukuru era tugena kulaba mu ebyo kuyiga ebyenja ule biri mu ngero zino. And I believe it'll bless you. Some of the most important things. Iranzi kirizant na wo gena kuwe bwo mukisa. Tugena kunokola yo bimu ku bintu ebikuru dalala that I think God has ever shown me have come from some of these passages that we'll be studying. And I believe it'll bless you and it'll praise God. I believe it'll give you a brand new way of appreciating what God did when he sent Jesus to this earth to pay for our sins. Echo katonda chi yakola bwe yawereza Kristu Yesu okufa ku bibi bya fe. Fayo 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 fayo. Kanini si wenenti we. Owa ye gwaduka na tukona olaga wa. Hati ngenda ku Karis. Ate Karis. Noga mba Karis. Karis fayo fayo fayo. 
ate yeri weyo mama tanamanya kuti chimanyi tino karisi bible college eri muku kuandisa bayizi bapya sebo veyo 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 ngende ati ngambe no karisi bible college eya andro womak ngambe andro womak oyo kufya mumanyi omusajja ngaso message chigambo nze mu veyo ngende 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 fayo 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 hey insangi bwa weyo ngambe nanti eri ku pakuru yo mol ku mwalire dogo mukaga ngamba bwanino okulina na senana oba ku mukono mulano okulina na watu to charge ngaka ku Buganda road yangu wako tugende obo no jaja ngo tugende oba tojja tugende nawe zengenze kusoma chigambo kuno kwagala kwa katonda kwetegedde ko ngenze nkwe yongere buziba weba lekuliza program ya fe ya gospel truth tukiriza nti oweredwa nnyo mukisa okuyita mukusomesa bwakuno obango yagala tusabe ko nawe oboli na ekibuzo cyo na oboli no bujulizi kwecho katonda cyako zo kuyita ku program weno tukubire ko ku namba za simu zino wa manga 0200330000 ngambiye eri 0200330000 Kuloku akala kwa katonda okutali ko komojoli twogero mukisa kwa katonda twogere enkula akulana era twogero okunyezebwa mulinyali amukamafe Yesu obweredwa nnyo omukisa